Hello and welcome back to Cowboy Dynasty. Well, it's not... Uh, I call it Cowboy Dynasty. I know, I got a comment about this. Uh, it's not Cowboy Dynasty. It is... Uh, what was it called again? Bloody hell, I forgot the name. <laughs> Anyways. Um, I'm going to keep calling Cowboy Dynasty because it's much easier. I think it's Wild West Dynasty. Yeah, it's Wild West Dynasty. All right, so that's cool. Wild West Dynasty, welcome back. So we are in the village of taxation. Apparently people really don't like being taxed. Or they do. I'm not entirely sure. And we are going to talk to Karen. Karen is the lady over there with a red marker above her head. And, um, and then we are going to see what... What well, what other troubles we can do? We can get ourselves into. Now the town of taxation is uh, is our first true stop. Let's just, let's just run to Karen. Actually, I don't want to keep on keep her waiting. She's how do we get to her? Is this is this is this the way? <laughs> Why do we have two red markers all of a sudden? What is what's going on over here? We got a marker in the mountains, 300 and um, almost 500, uh, 300, almost 400 meters away. And uh, can I get over this? Thank you. Karen's over here, though. So do we do we have another thing happening? Let's see. We have the newcomer, the newcomer, and city slicker uh, objective. Talk to Jediah. Uh, talk to Karen. We'll talk to Karen first. Let's talk to Karen first. Hello, Karen. See what, he, what she has to say. Uh, greetings, what an awful stench here. Dying clothes is one hell of a job, I assume. Greetings, what an awful stench here. Dying cloth is one hell of a job, I assume. I was told you're buying agaves? Ah, oh, that's right, we're trying to sell her some stuff. Yes, and hello, I've never seen you before. You're new to these places. Yeah, I'm kind of new. Oh, yes, I am. Ed told me that you buy agaves, and coincidence, I have a few agaves with me. How much would I get, Mrs... Call me Karen. I give you one dollar. <laughs> you give me one dollar for this stuff. Oh yes, it told me uh, as well, Karen. I wanted to be polite. Sounds good, Karen. Fine, but while you're here, could you perform a small task? For oh bloody hell! Come on, why do I do that? It depends. Right now, I feel poor. Is it paid? Depends. Yes, it is. I'll give you another dollar for this task if you're up to it. Wow, she has a lot of dollars, I guess. What does it entail? It's a mental, a menial job. Okay, so she wants me to do something small. But I need you to collect the, the contents of a few thunder mugs from the homes of... Thunder mugs? What are thunder mugs? From the homes of several denizens of taxation. I need the content for dying, as you can see, or... Sm uh, that's not good. <laughs> that's wretched. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yes, but good money for a quick tour, visiting a few homes. All right, I'm in. I'm young, and I'm ne I need the money. Visit the homes of Mark Harrison, the carpenter, Nicolette McCluskey, next to Mama's Jay's Meals, and from Jane McRowan's hut and collect their Jerry's. It's just the pee, no excrement. These folks are frequent contributors and know their worth. I think uh, I'll set and be back soon. All right, so we got to go and... Oh, hello. Yeah, I know about the journal. You can go away with that. All right, so we got to go collect a couple of thunder mugs. Now, I am assuming from the, her little tale and stuff uh, that thunder mugs are actually like like potable toilets, potty toilets, toilet potties, whatever. This is Mark Ham Harrison. I don't want to talk to him. Um, wait, do I have to talk to him? Does he have a thunder mug? It's a stone. Do you have a thunder mug? So let's see what he have. Do, um, you must be Mr. Harrison, right? Yes, I am. How can I help you? Uh, Karen sends me. I need. Uh, it's inside. Go get it. <laughs> Thank you, mister. <laughs> where Where is it inside? Is it inside here? Is it inside the barn? Oh, bloody hell. Why does it smell already? I can smell the... Uh, bloody... Okay, this is a thunder mug. Let's go pick it up. Why do I have to do that? This is so horrible. <laughs> okay, talk to Mick McCluskey. Uh, where is Miss Mc 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 McCluskey? Cluck, cluck. Um, over there. She's 20, 66 meters away. Past the horses. I think it's the little girl that we saw jumping around before. No, it's not. It's a different one. That's the girl there playing hide and seek with his with her. Is that a brother? What are you guys playing? All right, well, let's leave them alone. Uh, who knows what goes through in the head of small little children? Okay, let's talk to this one, McLuckley. I'm here for your shit. Hello, anybody home? Uh, yes, darling, I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> she's dying right next to your house. Why are you asking if she's home? I'm here. You must be Miss McC uh, McCluskey. Karen sends me to 
Oh, Karen, is this coming today? No, it looks like she found another lackey today. Now, the Thunder Mugs is on the other side of the house. Uh, okay, I will get it. Thank you, ma'am. All right, um, let's go check out over here. There it is. Right, let's just grab that as well. And let's talk to Shane. Where's Shane? Shane's over there. Uh, that's not Shane. That's 420. That's maybe Shane's over that way. I think it is. Is Shane the guy that I was, that was spitting in the spittoon before? I don't know. Let's go talk to this guy. Oh, he's the one sleeping. Oh, my... Oh, I, I constantly think that somebody's running out behind me. <laughs> Breathing really loudly. Let's talk to him. Let's see. Hello, Mr. Shane. Uh, hello? Uh, snores. Of course, he keeps snoring. Hello, snores. Hmm. I'm, I'm not much to do with this guy being drunk. Let me grab his jerry and I'm off. Okay, let's just grab this shit. And let's get back to Karen. Um... Uh, Bring Karen the master set of thunder mugs. Okay, let's just go talk to her about this stuff and let's not do this ever again, shall we? <laughs> that was pretty horrible. All right, let's just, yeah, let's give it to you. <clears throat> I'm back, Karen, but tell me the tell me the dog how's the bind the stench? Uh, musky, he lost all senses. Don't worry, it's probably been uh, around. He's sniffling. Okay, yes, every dog has its day. Mm, you may be right. Here is your payment for the quick tour of filling the buckets. Thank you again. Now I know I can uh, who I can help me who can help me out. Okay. Uh, actually, I should make my way to Hope soon. I assume you know how to get there. Actually, um, of course I know. At least in theory. What do you mean theory? Um, what do you mean theories? Um, well, it isn't. But there's no way to get there. At least not now. Why not? Well, the main path leads over a bridge just south of Hancock's Cave. That's not the problem. The problem is the elevator down into the valley that comes after it is broken. An elevator? Out here? Oh, yes, of course. Big enough for a carriage when it's working. I heard someone is out there trying to fix it up now, but so far to no avail. Huh, I'll have a look. All right, so that's great. We got that done. And now we have to go uh, investigate an elevator. Uh, so which way do we have to go? That way. So 391 meters in that direction. So I'm guessing. Yeah, that's 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 that goes pretty close to. And this is right there. There's a quest name for. What is, why 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 do I have to go there? It's a lot of stuff. All right, well, let's just go that way. Let's go see what we have over there. Uh, can I buy a horse? No, I can't buy a horse. Damn it. We have a quest marker in that direction, 543 meters over there. Is that where we have to go, or is it is, it, is it the other one? Wait. I think we only have one quest marker over there. Yeah. So basically, we gotta go run across this uh, uh, tundra, <laughs> grass plain. Oh, it's loading in. I think is that is that the old hermit's house? Maybe. That looks like the old hermit's house. He's he's uh, currently being loaded in. Uh, I think it's past the woods as well. Can we chop down some trees? Uh, maybe we can get some more trees chopping done. That way we can get a little bit more wood. And yeah, this is the hermit's house. I wonder if he's home. Do we need to drink some water? Let's just drink some water from him. Maybe he doesn't like people, the skulls and everything. Maybe he doesn't like cows. Either way, it's not. I don't want to deal with him so much. Let's just drink a little bit of water. Get that done. Let's close you. All right. Hello, turkeys. Let's go over in this direction. Yeah, we need to go past these hills. I think there might be something in the hills over just beyond it. I mean, that's where, that's where uh, Hancock's cave is. Which we still have to visit because I got told I missed some bullets in some in the dead guy's hand, so I need to go back there and actually check his his hands. It's one of the things I didn't actually get a marker that I um, that I missed those uh, those things. I I went over the the skeleton quite quite. Um, any more agaves? Um, in, in quite closely, I didn't actually see. Any um, any bullets? So it's a bit 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 odd. Is this a good idea? Oh, it's a bunch of it's a rabbit coming towards me. Oh no, no rabbit, no! <laughs> oh, there goes the rabbit. 
that is that. Oh, there's another one. Why are you guys running? Are you running? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. It's a stampede. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, what? <laughs> Why? Is is it? It's like the the walk of the lemmings. Are they running for their lives from something? Is there a, is there a mountain cat? Do I have a, a pistol? Do I have a pistol? I, I don't think I have the pistol. So maybe I can put the pistol in my hand. Yeah, it's a seven. I don't have any bullets though. I don't have any bullets, so this will be mostly for show. So, hey, hey mister, back off, and that kind of stuff. But all right, so let's see if we can take this tree apart. It gives me a whole bunch of branches and some logs. Okay, let's pick up the log. Okay, that goes <laughs> that log right in my pocket. See if we can get this log as well. Not quite sure what to do with these logs, but yeah, doesn't seem to influence me at all the weight, at least. So we'll just keep those logs around with us for a bit. I want to get started with building stuff, but let's see if we can't find ourselves a little somewhere to go. Is this this way? Is this the way? No, I don't think this is the way. Do we have to go up that way or back that way? Let's go this way. Let's continue to follow the tr trail. I mean, I, I wanted to say trail, but it's not really a trail. Is it a trail? Ah, it's fine. It's better than nothing, right? Oh, we got a bucket over here. Oh, and a skeleton. So maybe the skeleton has something. Maybe in the bucket? Let's see. Let's interact with the bucket. He has coffee and his fine gin. Let's take all of it to use that. So, can we take his bones? I'm, I'm, I'm going over him just to make sure that we're not skipping on some bullets or something. No, he doesn't have any pockets, so... <laughs> this poor guy died naked. Not quite sure who would kill a naked man, but... Oh, hello. This is a dumb deer. What are you doing, deer? It's derping around. Are you gonna hurt me? Can I can I hurt you? I don't I don't think I can hurt him. Oh, what? <laughs> what happened? I can't. I do. I have the option. Can I can I can I take him? I can't do anything. That that deer is in the door in the rock now. It's part of the rock. Oh, I can actually interact with it. Ah, uh, I got some loot. <laughs> the deer had loot. That was it. Only one one steak. Yeah, apparently that was it. I robbed the dead deer. Not quite sure you would call it robbing, but okay. All right, let's see. We got a bridge over here that goes over to there. Somebody over there on that side. Holy ships! This is not good. There's a massive hole, and these, these, these. Look at that. So that's a giant hole in this. Uh, this is not even supported at all. It's not good. Not good at all. Holy ships! Do I have to go around that? Uh, this is this is giving me the creeps. I mean the willies. No, not good. Let's get over this fast, right? Hello, sir. You must be Mr. Roger. Uh, all right. Hello. Did you take just take the elevator? No, I wish I had. But the damn thing is broken. I need to get down to my farm. But well, looks like I'm stuck here for now. Can you repair it? I can repair almost everything, but I need to understand it. See, the elevator was built by O'Brien. He's a tinkerer, a smith, an alchemist, a carpenter, and a madman. But his stuff works. You mind if we take a look at it together? I read a, quite a lot of books about mechanics and engines. Perhaps I can figure it out. Sure, why not? Follow me. All right, let's go follow the old guy that we just met. Right, standing by a rickety old bridge. I don't trust him make sure that he knows we got a gun <laughs> do we have any <laughs> trousers and, sh and shoes all right well why do we have both of those okay what's well, cool the holster another corn pie and some cash I'm taking all of it I'm taking your corn pie as well move it wait why can't I move it can I can I move it? Oh, there we go we had two corn pies all right excellent and the trousers yeah let's move those as well why not I can probably sell the holster can we get some more barrel stuff here? Let's see, a board and nails. Take all that. Yes. I mean, this game is about 
building stuff, right? So tea leaves and cash. We would leave cash in a barrel. Let's see, what do you have in here? Oh, that's a lot of food. Look at cookies, deer meat, bison meat. Ah, oh, I love all this. Can we can we take all that? Let's see. Am I not gonna get full? How much am I carrying at the moment? I have so much stuff. <laughs> I should probably sell it sometime. How much? How my 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 food level hasn't dropped at all. So um, I guess it's deer fur. See, I killed a deer. I didn't get any fur and a cracker. I'm kind of confused about the deer. Hello. Can I talk to you? All right. Oh, there's a marker over here that we have to go check out first before we can get the other marker, I guess. Talk to him. Mr. Roger. Game is loading in. So, all right. So I came here. I saw. What am I supposed to do? And talk to Roger. Okay, that's what. He wants me to talk to Roger again. All right, let's go talk to Roger. See what Roger needs. Roger has needs. Let's, let's, let's look around for some more stuff first before we do that. It's a barrel. No, it's not a barrel. It's a box. These are barrels that I can't open. It's a bottle. Somebody was drinking some alcohol here. Oh, another chest. Ah, can't open that. It's a shame. Can't do anything with that. Why? Oh. What is this? Some kind of a collapsed mine, I guess. Let's just get back to the let's get back to Roger. See if we can talk to him. Hello, Mr. Roger. Let's see. Okay. What are those, um, what are those looks you have been giving me all the, okay, that's like, <laughs> I was trying to figure out what all that sentence was. Is there something on my back or have you never seen a true pioneer before? And to give the, the rough, the gruff kind of voice, of course. No, sir, it's just, you look familiar. I have no idea what you're talking about, but I can assure you, I have never seen you before. Where are you from? Charleston? Philly? No, you look more like a uh, New Yorker. I'm from New York. A city slicker. See, kid? That's why I can be so damn sure. I've never been further east than Missouri. The picture. You are the man from the picture. You are Roger. Duh. Wasn't he... Didn't he introduce himself as Roger? I don't I remember. <laughs> what games are you playing here? Who else? Who has set me up? No, sir. No setup. Look, I have the picture here. Um, this is you, right? Yes, I am. Where the hell did you get this picture? You stole it, you little... <laughs> he wants to beat me up. I didn't steal it. It's mine. I got it from my mother. Look closely. The toddler in their arms, that's me. How how old are you again? I'm 20. Well, almost 20. Two, still, still two months to go and... Really? It's really you? What? I told you so. Is he my long lost dad? <laughs> Here's the picture. It's me, my mom, my dad and you. And, oh, his, his dad is also in the picture. Jack and Jacqueline, your older siblings. Yes, I know. Listen, kid. I'm so sorry for your loss. I know you weren't exactly close to your uh, father. But the news of his death must have hit you hard. It's never easy to lose a parent. But my dad's also dead? Bloody hell, everybody's dying around me. Both parents. What? What happened to your mother? She got shot by bandits. <laughs> we were on our way to Hope when they amb ambushed us, and, and she made sure I would survive. I buried her in Hancock's cave. She told me I was her f it was her favorite place on Earth. She said that, well, you're a good kid, and I grieve with you, truly and honestly. Your parents... Very special to me. You'll always have a place in my house and at my table. Always. We'll get you on your feet and then let's find the bastards who killed your mother. But first, but first, we need to fix the damn elevator. Bloody hell, of course. That's why I'm here. Okay, uh, wait, did we not finish talking to him? We gotta talk to him again. Ah, oh, okay, fine. So, about the elevator. A cranky beast, but very useful when it works. Yeah, you use it regularly, right? Yeah, I do. Well, why don't you know how to fix it? Look, kiddo, I can fix almost everything around my house. I can build a cattle fence for a thousand horns, and it will hold them. But this here... Uh, you have no idea how it works, right? I mean, you can operate it, but you don't know the mechanics. If it can lift an entire carriage with horses and oxes, it must be... It's a miracle. It was a crude, weaker one. Uh, what? What? It was a crude, weaker one before? Oh, yeah, this one. But this here was constructed by Ed Edgar O'Brien, a crazy guy. I can tell you, I wish he was here right now. Eh, uh, you know, I have read quite a few, some books about mechanical engineering. I could take a close look at it. If you want to, go ahead. I'm not holding you back. I really looked at it. I just need to go somewhere else. No, right? Uh, we got to look at it again. Bloody hell. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll look at it again. 
Then what do you got? Let's interact with it. Let's see what do you got. Investigate. We're not investigators. Uh, okay. So we looked at this thingy. I'm not entirely sure what this thing is. Uh, let's see. Is it a counterweight elevator? The, the ropes don't seem to go anywhere. Hmm. Is it me or is this thing just a bunch of... See, there's a rope up there that goes to a hook. But I don't see a counterweight. It's just spun around this log. Okay, and then... Oh, don't, don't fall down. And then there's a, another thingy over there. Still no counterweight. How does this thing... Okay, forget about it. I'm not going to try and make it work at all. Um, why am I cold all of a sudden? This, it seems to be a bit cold here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of freezing over. Let's talk to Roger. So, about the elevator. Yeah, we need to get it going again. Any ideas? Um, more than that, it's actually not a complicated construction. I can improve it easily. However, no need for that. With a cogwheel 10 inches in diameter, 32 teeth, it will get it going again. Ah, oh, come on, you braggart. <laughs> Don't send me for a fool. You barely figured that one out. So, where should we get a damn cogwheel? Um, ideally we would cast one from brass, but that is out of the question. I could make one from a plank broad. Uh, broad. Okay, broad. It's a broad. It's a house. Kind of getting stuck with the word there. But with my crude tools, I need a carpenter. Bad luck. I know one. Ryan. Not the most pleasant of men out here, but I have no idea where he is. But right there might be another way. Yes. But there might be another way. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's a woodcutter's camp further north in the forest close to taxation. I bet the lumberjacks have some fine tools and skills we are looking for. Mm, it's quite a walk. Just, we just got back from taxation. Do we have to go all the way back in? It is, but if you're right, we need that cogwheel. My feet are old and tired. Yours, on the other hand. I'll flip you. <laughs> okay, I'm on my way. Now we gotta go run all the way back to taxation again. Uh, fine, let's go all the way back again. We got nothing else to do, right? It's not like we can uh, jump off the bridge. Can we jump off the bridge? No, can't jump high enough. Kind of wondering what happens if you die in this game. Pretty sure you get respawned by the Hermit's Camp. I need to get some heat. Because right now, it's getting a little bit too cold. Can we make a fire? Is there, is there, maybe we can build some. Let's build a campfire. Put that right there. Let's light it. All right, that is, seems to be doing absolutely nothing for us. <laughs> can we, do I have to stand in the fire? Uh, that seems to be happening. Can I make a tent? I can make a tent. Seems a bit weird that I can actually make a tent, but okay, I'm going to put a tent right there. And so sleep. All oh, right. Well, that that seems to have done it, right? Can I take can I pick you up? Can I take you with me? Pick up. All right, let's pick up the tent. Wait, did I not pick it up? No, I don't want to sleep. No, 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 no. Oh, bloody hell. Ah, oh, it's dark again. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Ah, okay, fine. Let's just, let's just sleep until day. I want to pick up my tent. Can I pick up my tent? I want, I want to pick it up. I can, I can only sleep in this tent, apparently, for now. I can still walk on it, but I can't pick it up. Do I have a tent in my inventory? Is there a tent in my inventory? Um, no, I don't see a tent in my inventory. All right, so that's that's not working yet. So there's no tent in my inventory. I, I thought I picked it up. Can I pick you up? No, I can't pick you up either. So I guess we'll just have to build a new tent every single time we want to go to sleep. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to taxation. Let's make sure that we get there. The fire didn't seem to have any effect on me. I was standing practically in the fire, so. I would imagine oh, the bunnies are back again. It's a herd of bunnies. Maybe I can hit, can I hit them? Can I can I hit you? No. I can't. I'm gonna eat something. I think it's probably a good idea to eat something. Let's see. Can we uh, some tea? We can drink some tea. I can only eat that. How that happen? That was good for my uh, thirst. Great. Raw venison and bison beef. No, let's eat some cornbread. Is it good for my food? No, that didn't help anything for my food. What? So my hunger went down. Uh, it, went, it got worse. 
We can't eat clay. Bottle of gin, can of beans. Let's be. Let's eat this one. So, what does it do? Oatmeal cookie. Seems to be something good for my uh, for my uh, food levels, though. It's good. Berries are also pretty good. Yes, good berries. All right. Um, let's go up the hill. Let's go see if we can check out that. Oh. Let's go see if we can check out that skeleton. See if we can get some bullets. I want to be able to shoot those rabbits sometime. Would be nice. I want to be able to shoot those bunnies with my pistol. With my pistola. Let's see if it, uh, the bunnies actually uh, blow up. <laughs> Alright, we're here in Hancock's cave. The taxation's over there somewhere. It's not loaded and we can't see it, but I'm pretty sure it's over there somewhere. Across the hill. Alright, let's see if we can get in here. No. Not 100% sure if this is actually true, but we're going to check it out. So let's see. There's the that's the pistola again. Pick up that one. And do we have any any bullets? We have some Okay, we have some coal bullets. Pick up those. All right, we finished that. Great. So but we have we got two guns now? Do we have two pistols? We got we got a Colt pistol here. We got two pistols. Yeah, we got two pistols. And can can I wear two can I wear two uh, holsters? Is that something I can wear? Can I wear this one again? Let's see, let's see. Can I... Yeah, I can wear you two. I have a holster and I have a holster. Alright. <laughs> can I put my gun in my holster? Is that something I can do? I'm kind of... Kind of... Kind of wondering if I can put... My gun in my holster. Can I put you in eight? No. Let's see. Can I put you... No. Can I put you in six? No. I can only put you in... Okay, that's the only thing I can do. I can only put it... The gun. There's no gun in my holster, but... I see. Can I reload my gun? How do, how do I reload the gun? Oh, I already have the bullets in. Alright. So, I already have the bullets in my gun. So can I can I target you? What? Did I miss it? Did I miss? I don't see a bullet hole. Hmm. I guess I must have missed. <laughs> let's not let's not waste any more bullets. Uh, we'll use those for uh, for hunting, you know, for uh, for killing vermin later on in the game. I guess we can get some more rabbit meat. Some more, maybe some. Eh, let's go check out a rabbit. Let's go check out a rabbit. Those rabbits were still around here, right? They didn't all run off. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Look at him. Look at him. He has no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's oh, he sprayed out completely. Let's, let's, let's look at what you got. You have a uh, hair meat and you have some fur. All right. Let's see how long you stay there. Probably we'll stay there forever. Right, let's go back to the hermit and then we'll go to taxation. Oh, there's a whole bunch of rabbits here. I don't think I want to kill all of them. Can I kill you with with, the, with a rock? Can I kill you with a rock? Can I can I uh, throw rocks? Is that something I can do? It would be cool if I could throw a rock. Can I throw a rock? <laughs> so if I put a rock on three, can I put a rock on three? No, I can't. I can't put rocks in my inventory or in my hand, so I can't throw them. A bit of a pain, but okay. Um, hello, Mr. Hermit. Wait, why am I here again? I don't have to be here. Can I shoot this guy's turkeys? No. Your turkeys are, are immortal, dude. They're bulletproof. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's a good... Uh, uh, where, if you go about taxation, taxation is back that way. Oh. Don't, no, 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 no. Just load in slowly. So the game is not optimized one bit. So... We just need to... What is that over there? There's another town over there. Is that another town? Not quite sure. We need to get to the forest beyond taxation. <clears throat> so that's a forest over there. So I'm guessing we gotta go over in here. This direction. So is there... So we also have to... We also have that quest from the geologist. Right? So we have to pick up some redstone kind of thing. Kind of wondering what that does. 
Maybe some redstone. This entire hill is made out of redstone. Redstone is mostly just iron content inside the rocks, right? Is that taxation? It looks like it's... Yeah, that's probably taxation right there. Alright, so we got... Hmm. Is there a road here? Is that supposed to be a river? Anyways, let's go find this camp where these lumberjacks are. Let's go sing a nice little song with the lumberjacks. See what they're doing. See, ah, ships, just load in. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Oh, I got some more deer over there, too. They're bumping into the trees. I don't think they have, like, a uh, pathing set up properly. <laughs> uh. Alright. Let's see what do you got. Oh, there's the camp. I see the camp. Nice. We got the camp. Ah, good stuff. Now, we just go find the person that can make the thing for me. I need to give him the thingamajiggy. So, and get back to the elevator so we can get across. Apparently, that's vital for our development. So, stand over here. Somebody's going to come to me, right? Oh, this guy. Is, he just noticed me. What do you got to me, Lumberjack John? <laughs> oh, ships. Uh, your fire is off. Um, let's see, talk to him. Let's see. Lumberjack John. Hey yo, you city slicker! What are you doing here? Want to get some wood? <laughs> no, I mean yes. It's right. If it's the right kind of wood, ha! That's what your wife said, John. Shut up, Terry. I didn't say a word. Uh, they're having a conversation while we're having a conversation. Lumberjack John. No, you stop making a fool of yourself. Especially as we have a guest. Listen, stranger. Okay, let me introduce myself. My name is. Uh, whatever. I am John. This is Terry and Jester over here. Also, Terry is a different Terry. What do you want to buy? Sell or barter? Do you have beer? <laughs> Unfortunately not. My life will be much better with beer. But I have a need of a cogwheel. 10 inches in diameter. 32... T ah, cogwheel. We are no commoners. And no blacksmith. And not even miners. Uh, or, or dwarfs. I am a dwarf and I'm digging a hole. Diggy dig. <laughs> Shut up, both of you. Sorry, my friendly, but backwards colleague, colleagues here, but they have a point. I assume you mean a wooden cogwheel. Uh, let's try and be the smart ass. I would prefer a metal one, but wood is all we have. But what would you need such an elaborate piece of wood crafting for? Uh, to fix the elevator to hope. What do you mean? Our elevator? What is it with it? It's broken and stuck. What do you mean, broken? It's not working. You can't get down. I don't understand. What does that mean? <laughs> Shut up, didn't you hear? It's broken. It's passed on. The elevator is no more. It has ceased to be. It's expired and gone to meet its maker. This is a late elevator. It's a stiff, bereft of life. It rests in pieces. If it wasn't hanging from a rock, it would be pushing up the daisies. It's running down the curtain and joining the choir invisible. It's an X elevator. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right. This is bad news. I mean, we would love to help you, but this is quite actually some complicated work. Um... All right, uh, la, la, la. I um, I see. I had assumed that such well-educated, versatile woodworkers like you fine gentlemen can accomplish the task, but it seems like the villagers were right. Ha, <laughs> well-educated gentlemen. I mean, yes, I am for sure, but have you taken a look at my colleagues? And wait, what? What did the villagers say? That you are largely honorable, hardworking men, but, but? But also that you are not exactly the sharpest axes out here in the woods, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Probably because I'm not the sharpest axe out here in the woods. Please enlighten me and elaborate. Um, well, they said you were a tad stupid. Too stupid to craft a cogwheel. <laughs> Did you hear that? Looks like we are too stupid to make a proper cogwheel. Let's show the world what we are capable of. Let's be heroes and help fixing the elevator. What do you say? You have my axe and my saw, but what is a cogwheel anyway? Oh, oh. bloody hell. This is a little reference to Lord of the Rings, but um, I really appreciate your effort. Efforts, we will get it done, but before that, we need proper wood. Bring us your shrubbery. <laughs> That's another reference. What? A uh, what? Uh, just kidding. Bring us a large... No, it needs to be hardwood. Oak, ash, or beech. I recall seeing one of those trees in the northwest. Do I have to haul the tree here alone? Nah. Hmm. Knee or no. See, that's the reference to the niceness of knee. And, uh, just cut it and the lads here will move the tree over. Now go. Okay, all right, let's go get him a shrubbery. I mean, a, a tree. Where do we have to go? Where we gotta go? We gotta go beyond the tree over here. Apparently, this is their. Oh, look, we got some, some guy over here. 
What do you got? This is Maitri Home. Why is he called Maitri? Maitri Homecroft. All right, let's talk to him. Hey, you. Yes. This tree next to you is about to be cut down. You could get hit by it when it falls. Uh, no. No? It's my tree. You gotta cut it down. My tree protected me. <laughs> what? Yes, there was a thunderstorm recently and the lightning hit another tree while I was sitting under this one. See, it protected me, but now I feel thirsty. Okay. Uh, is it me or is this guy really stupid? Uh, let's go find this guy a beer. I'm pretty sure the loggers have beers. What's this flying here in the air? I'm, I'm assuming this used to be a log. Because the, and the ends are working, but the insides are not. <laughs> okay, so uh, here we go. Here's some beers. Let's grab one. Let's grab all the beers. I could probably use a beer myself. Hello, sir. Let's, uh, let's talk to him. Let's give him the beer. I got something to drink. Here, take it. Uh, thank you. Much appreciated. I'm Dakota. What's your name? My tree. <laughs> Holmescroft. Extraordinary name. Yes, it is. How did you end up here? Are you a lumberjack? Yes, but the others were not laughing at my jokish, so I don't hang out with them. Ah, what's wrong with your jokes? I don't know. I try to make a joke about lumbershacking. Lumbershacking? But apparently it wasn't fun. Oh, he has a slur. All right. Okay, tell me. Ash Lumberjack starts to hit a tree. It begins to cry. Hicks, please don't hit me. The tree says, Hicks, the lumberjack says, shh, if you can solve this riddle, the greatest minds in history couldn't solve, I shall prepare you. What? Sh tree was jumped. <laughs> that was actually funny. Uh, tell me about the thunderstorm. Oh, I should, but uh, uh, me too, ish, do, uh, seriously, he only had one beer and he's already, okay. He's already gone over the edge. Yes. Okay, that's that's good. Ich soll du wichen, buchen sollst du suchen. What? German proverb. Uh, a fellow at school told me that particular one. Basically means, you stay away from oaks when a thunderstorm comes, better stick to beaches. But I have my doubts. Uh, I noticed this tree looks like an oak. We should look for a beach. There's a beach over there, go. Uh, okay, perfect. All right, so we can cut down Holmes' tree, or we can cut down somebody else's this this tree. Would cut down the tree? Cut down which tree? Do I have to cut down this tree? Seriously, I gotta cut down this tree. It says I can cut down any tree. Um, this is a what kind of tree is this? A Holmes craft tree? This is a tree. This is this is not a tree. What is, is this? A tree? This is also a tree. <laughs> They're all trees. They're all the same type of tree as well. I'm just gonna cut down this guy's tree, you know, because I, I feel like he has an attachment to this tree and it's not a healthy attachment. Let's go and cut down his tree. All right, there goes his tree, Mr. Holcomb, uh, my, home, uh, my tree, uh, I don't know, bloody hell, these names. All right, let's just take the tree out, chuck, 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 chuck. There we go, we got ourselves a talk to John, Lumberjack John, okay, let's... I, I just cut down the tree. Don't I, do I don't, do I have to take this with me? I'm going to pick it up. Oh, it's a whole bunch of... Seriously, they made me cut down a tree. They have a whole stack of trees already cut down. Bloody bastards. All right, well, fine. Let's just go back and let's talk to these guys. And let's see what they have to say. All right, sorry, dude. Are you still drunk? Yeah, he's still drunk. All right, you over here, Mr. Lumberjack John. <clears throat> Hello, I just wanted to ask if, if your damn cogwheel is ready. Of course it is, but I didn't even give you the tree. Here we go, 10 inches in diameter, 32 teeth, made from the finest hardwood around here. A bit rough on the edges, but it will get the job done. Thank you so much, what do I owe you? Just go out in the woods and spread the word of our craftsmanship. No, seriously, fixing the elevator is also in our best to do what you want. Uh, you want to stay for dinner? Um, I, I should probably get the repairs on the way as soon as possible. Out of curiosity, what do you guys eat around here? Spice pork and ham. Beans, spice pork and ham, eggs, beans, spice pork, and <laughs> spice pork, ham, eggs, beans, baked bread, spice pork and ham. Ah, yes, the guys have, even have a song about it. Do you want to hear it? Uh, let's see. What what else can I say? I would rather have a rabbit coyote chew. My let's try this one. I'd rather have a cha rabbit chew <laughs> coyote chew in my prior parts. And let's do a song about spice pork and ham. But I will take this cogwheel with gratitude and get the elevator going. You have no idea what you're missing out on. I think I do. 
I think I have a very good idea what I'm what I'm missing out on. You guys are crazy. All right, put the uh, axe away before they get annoyed. How many logs am I carrying? Do I even do? What should I know? Oh, well, where is the? They got different uh, categories here, but I, I, I I'm I'm one hundred thousand percent sure I picked up a log. Oh, I do, I do. I have thirteen logs, and they weigh one. They weigh in total one. I don't know what that means. So I'm, I'm guessing they didn't they didn't figure out the weighing uh, system yet. So everything in my inventory currently weighs one of what? I'm not quite sure. One of what? One of something. One something. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's kilograms, but yeah, that's okay. All right, see, let's go back. Uh, it's 740. Oh, bloody flipping hell. All right, let's, let's go back the way we came. I mean, we could stop in taxation and check out what they got. We could sell some. We can sell the gun that I have, the additional one. I'm pretty sure it has some value. And we'll go back to the cave with the skeleton and see if we get another gun. <laughs> and we got a collection of like a. Ten gun oh, loading in. I got a whole collection of guns. I think that's a, the best way to make money in the moment. Just sell guns. Sell a bunch of guns. I'm not even sure how much how many guns I I mean how much gold I actually have. How much gold do I have? Can I sort you out? No, I can't sort you. Um how much coin do I have? Do I have any coin? Nails, corp, corn, coin, colt, shirt. I don't know how much coin I have. Money, 49. I got $49. Sorry, I was, I was looking in the wrong direction. I have $49 and probably no cents. Uh, <laughs> no sense of direction. Uh, let's go this way. I'm gonna go back to the... To the oh, bloody hell, that just that just unnerves me completely. That, that, that really nasty breathing. I, mean, I know it's me. I know it's me. But every single time, I think that somebody's trying to climb up behind my back. You know, got a little goblin following me. Just make sure he's not right there somewhere. All right, not there. Hello, Mister uh, Hermit Craft, uh, Hermit Guy. Uh, I like the references that those guys were talking about. Lord of the Rings, Monty Python. It's all good stuff. It's a bit. Bit strange though. I'm not quite sure they have ever heard of Monty Python in this part. I mean, they should, right? Because it's good, but <laughs> it's a little bit beyond their time. Uh, hello, Mr. Hermitcraft. Uh, Hermit guy is still here, I think. You don't think he goes? Oh, there he is. He he just blends into the into the environment so well, right? Okay, a quick little sip of drink. Give me that. Thank you. All right. Oh, good. Let's go over the hill. Let's go talk to this guy, Roger. See if he has anything. Let's go kill another rabbit. I only have two bullets left, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're, they're not difficult to hit, right? These rabbits. Maybe if we hit another deer. I want to have a rifle. I want a rifle. Can we actually make bullets? Is this something we can do? What, what is this? This is a hair trap. Hair trap. These are both hair traps. I don't think I can make either one of them. Can I, can I make you? Can I, no, I can't. In stock. So if I make tools, survive. So let's check out survive. Okay, we can make a hair trap. Uh, healing potion. Let's make a hair trap. Where, where is it? Oh, I need to put it down. Recipe unlocked. Stone knife. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's put the hair trap right here. <coughs> And uh, we'll come back to you later. So I'm not entirely sure what that does, but there's a whole bunch of oh, rabbits and stuff. That, I'm not sure those are here, but they're you know, just bonding around. Pretty sure we could uh, probably catch one or two of them. All right, let's go talk to Roger. I wish I could do something about my stamina. That'd be nice. I don't have much. <laughs> And what I do, I think I need a horse. I think once I get a horse, the stamina thing will be less of an issue. Wait, is my camp still here? Yes, it is. Good. Okay. Oh, stupid game. Stop loading. All right, so there we go. Oh, ships. Oh, no. Are you done? Are you done loading? 
It is it is incredibly not optimized. <laughs> uh, I was gonna cross the bridge, the rickety old bridge. Talk to Roger. Let's put our gun away before he gets concerned. Come on, you should have a little bit. Of, okay, he's a city slicker. I don't expect him to have much of a stamina. I mean, he's probably taking the bus everywhere. All right, where's Roger? Oh, there he is. He's still here. Good. So let's go talk to him. Hello, Mr. Roger. Roger Gates. Uh, I have it. A, a rough but co solid cogwheel. 10 inches in the ambulance, 32 teeth. Good job, kiddo. I'm so proud of you. What? Why? Proud of, proud of me for getting a few lumberjacks to make a custom piece of wood? Just saying, kiddo. Just saying. <laughs> now get the wheel in us. In us. Oh, get the wheel in us going. All right. Oh, let's go. Cool. He just wants to go down. That's what he wants. He wants to get back to his farm. Oh, come on. Uh, the game. Ah, no. Can, ah, no. No, no, no. Alright, it's, it's, it's trying to load stuff in. It doesn't keep things in memory, apparently, in the game. Let's interact with him. Alright, it's handled. Let's, uh, let's move it down. Ooh. It's actually working. Don't know how, though, because we're not actually attached to anything. <laughs> Alright, let's get back down. Uh, let's talk to Roger. How the hell did he get down here so fast? Look, he's right there. What? Uh, well, fine. Let's talk to him. Uh, how do we get to him? Oh. All right. Oh, that's a nasty old dead cow. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a barrel. Let's see what that's, what's in the barrel. Nothing. Can't interact with that barrel. Any, like, maggots that we could take? We could go fishing. Alright, so the dead cow. I don't think anybody took care of it. Not properly, this. Alright, now. We we managed to get past the elevator. We are in some other little territory. I'm not quite sure what this is. It looks like his house. Let's go Let's go rob him. So can I take your... Can I, oh, oh. can I take your whiskey? Can't take anything here. Why am I... I'm shaking all over the place. Ooh, that's a nice place, though. Oh, he's a little chest. Can sleep. Uh, can I take a shower? Do I, do I need to? Let's interact with this. Uh, nails, rabbit fur, and gin. Let's take all of it. I'm just gonna take all of his stuff. He has nothing else of value. It's a bit of a pain. He's a lot of whiskey, though. This guy is. I'm overloaded. How did that happen? Oh, I can't run anymore because I'm overloaded. Uh, let's interact with the. Let's take all of this stuff as well. <laughs> uh, what do we got? Small chest. Cold bullets. Yes, we got more bullets. Let's take all of it. Yes. All right, we got some more cold bullets. Beautiful. We've got a tent and tent campfire and stuff. That all good stuff. But I'm seriously overloaded. Can I can I sell you stuff? Some, who are you? Where where do I? Where's Roger? Ah, uh, I lost him. I don't know where he at. And we are way over time. Anyways, this is Wild West Dynasty, Cowboy Dynasty, whatever you want to call it. It's a fun game so far. I like it. It's a, it's a little bit in the rough. It needs to be um, finished a bit more, I think. It's not really playable yet. Well, it's playable, but we'll see how far we can get. Right? Uh, but for the rest, it looks, it looks fun. It looks like a good game. They're working on it still, I hope. <laughs> I haven't seen any updates. But, they, um, but the, the, the development uh, train is, uh, is coming along nicely. I like that. So anyways, this is uh, Cowboy Dynasty. We will see uh, you guys in the next episode. I'm going to continue looking around here a little bit. Let's maybe get Ge uh, your, what's the name? It's Roger down from there. Uh, and then we'll uh, head on over to whatever this place is. Anyways, um... That's it. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you didn't leave a dislike, it's fine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.